Hey guys. Um, so I totally failed at my skin picking challenge. I didn't get past one day. So I have a lot of work to do. Um, honestly, I think it would have been a little easier to do if I, if my skin was cooperating, like if it was clear, but I had some pimples erupt out of nowhere. So, um, of course I picked at them because they were there and I hate feeling, I hate feeling something under my skin. I hate it. And I almost would rather have. A scar and then have something under my skin. Uh, it's just so messed up. <sighs> but I'm not wearing any makeup. I mean, I'm not wearing any foundation, any concealer. I just have on a little eye makeup so that I could show you what I did. And this is like what I did over the past two days. It's this. Um, that's bad. This is healing. Like, this is just old scarring. This is what started it all. This spot I showed you last time. That started it all. It's got a little satellite spot. Golf of it now. And it's, I haven't picked at this spot yet. But it's a bump and it's... Won't want to so bad. <laughs> but I'm not. So, this one, there's nothing there now. It's flattened. It's just... A scab. That guy is pissing me off. Those are just scars. That's not anything. This spot is new. I did this today. These are all a little, I don't know what, I don't even know where those came from. Like, I never get spots on my chin. But, I guess I've just been under stress or something. I really don't know. But, so, on this side, uh, there's this huge sore and it hurts so bad and then these are just healing spots and you can see my old scarring this spot's still there I haven't got it cleared up like the scar is still there I haven't really done anything to help that scar so you can see I have a lot of redness especially on my cheeks and you can see the scarring. You can see how uneven my skin is right now. You can see all these bumps. Um. Yeah. This whole side was clear. Um. And then now it's not. And I was like so close to being clear and then I got a few bumps and then I picked at him and so yeah now I have to try to get them all healed I have three weeks three weeks until I turn 30 I cannot be looking like this this is ridiculous <clears throat> and it's like only on my cheeks well, and on my mouth, but it's, like, right here. I don't even, like, talk on the phone a lot. I don't, I don't know. I don't do this. <laughs> I should do this, and then, like, and then no one could see my spots. <laughs> I was walking around, like, home alone. Ah! Okay. I bought some new products because of all this was frustrating me. So I bought some new products, so I hope that they work. Um, one thing I got was a, a big thing of witch hazel. Um, I've been using apple cider vinegar for my toner, which apple cider vinegar is really good for fading scars. I I, um, I think it's the best thing I've found so far. But if you know of something else, let me know. But apple cider vinegar has been the best thing I have found so far to fade my scars. And so I have been using it as a toner. And um, mixed with water, of course, not not by itself. But um, I so I bought a big thing of witch hazel, and I thought I would switch to it to see if that made any difference. Um, I've only used it once, and like I just put it on my face a minute ago, and I it stinks. Like 
apple cider vinegar stinks, but this stinks too. Um, I'm used to that, but I don't care. But I like that it's a natural product. I'm all about using natural and cheap products. So I, that's why I was using the vinegar because the apple cider vinegar. Um, so let's see what the witch hazel does. Maybe it'll help. I mean, you know, like I said, I only used it one time. I just used, I just put it on my face, like literally right before I started this video. So, um, I mean, it doesn't have any immediate effects, but maybe over time it will, um, it will help. Uh, yeah, I'm about to put my makeup on because I'm not going outside like this. Then I just totally tore this, this and this. I just, I totally clawed into them. You know, and that's, that's from my like two days ago. This spot and this spot. That's from today. <clears throat> so, I have three weeks exactly to the day. Until my birthday. Hmm. I can't have any, I can't have any more sessions. If the spots weren't there, I wouldn't pick at them though. So, my theory is. I need to get my acne, you know, which I don't even have that much acne, but when I do, this is what happens. Like, it's, I feel like it probably, I'm sure I had something to do with it spreading, but, um, I had had previous spots here and here, and it's like they just keep coming back. Like, I can never totally get rid of them. Like, they'll go down, and they'll calm down, they'll flatten out. And then they'll be okay, like, they'll be dormant, and then I'll be under stress or something, or I'll just uh, kind of mess with them. Maybe I don't mess with them, and they just keep coming back, so they're under there, they're they're deep in my skin, and um, it's really hard to treat them when they're that deep, and I've been really giving them all kinds of chemicals and stuff, um, and I guess it's just not getting down deep enough um, to where the problem is um but yeah I mean I'll go through all my makeups and everything but in another video but I really I don't use very much chemicals or makeup I don't I try to use fragrance free stuff sensitive skin stuff um I try to use natural products when I can so I don't really think it's the products I'm using I don't really think it's the makeup I know it's not the makeup I'm using I've used the same makeup for like 10 years but um so, yeah, I did buy some new stuff. Like I said, I bought the Witch Hazel. I bought um, some um, a new tube. Well, I had run out, but I bought a new tube of um, benzoyl peroxide gel so that I can get these buddies healing. So, wish me luck, and I'm going to try to get my acne under control before I even attempt to do the peaking challenge. I don't know. I, don't, I feel like I'm not going to ever ever get to the four days. I only get to one day and then I have to quit. So yeah, I'm gonna put my makeup on now. <laughs> okay, now I have my makeup done. I just wanted to show you um what my face looks like before and after I put my makeup on to show you the difference. Um but um, right now, those two spots, since they're, like, freshly picked, they're weeping, and they're weeping through my makeup, so, um, yeah, they're still showing, <laughs> but everything else, you know, I get decent coverage on, um, but those two spots that I had picked are, um, yeah, they're still weeping. So I'm kind of can't really do anything about that. I mean, that's my fault. <laughs> but um So I just wanted to show you the difference like it, um a little makeup helps a lot. Now I feel like I can be seen in public. Uh as soon as these spots stop weaving, but Alrighty, I'll see you next time. Hopefully I'll have better news.